You're not getting it off, just... Yo, what it do? Uh, what's going on, party animals? It's your boy Kai. I, I'm not, I'm not making a special intro today. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh we're back. Spooky, scary Saturday on Saturday. Hey, it is a show. Oh God, my throat. It's a little, little show every Saturday. We for the month of October or for longer, since you know I. Depending on if y'all motherfuckers like this shit. We sit back, watch some spooky videos. Some of them are spooky, some of them are just well made. And I still have nightmares about that last one. I think it was um Nuclear Nightmare. That goddamn at he peeled off his skin. He peeled off his skin. That was a I ain't scream at a poor thing in a while. Jesus. Also, turn up your volume. Turn Hey, you, you, yeah, you, you, uh, Joey, yeah, Joey, turn up your volume, Joey. Oh, they, oh, I can't curse yet. Uh, yeah, we're gonna watch like three videos. We gonna get into it. We're gonna get spooks, get some food, get some snacks, get some drink, get you a, I don't know, a blueberry fago. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a long one. Uh, yeah, damn. Uh, oh wait, I was testing to see, just making sure my audio was right. Yeah, right. Yeah, Jesus Christ, English. Yeah, first video you got is The Thing in the Dark by Crypt TV. Lovely people like Crypt TV, they make the bangers. We gotta have them in here at some point, big dog. Uh, yeah, I don't really got much else to say, really. We, let, we just pop into it. A series of strange. Oh, I gotta pause. I, I gotta pause, don't I? A series of strange occurrences have taken place in the. Pasadena area over the past month. Most instances have happened between dusk and dawn. People have gone missing. The reports describe something in the shadows stalking them. The investigation is currently open. Fourth incident, May 24th, 1994, Pasadena, California. It's always California. And now you leave. What? Oh my god! I'm sorry, is that just, I'm sorry, do, does he not hear what I'm hearing? Is, does he not hear the, the monster in the background? First of all, well, once you saw that guy running away, that should be first sign of concern. Secondly, and he's, this, this is why, this is white people, you need to gain, you need to gain black people tactics. You see one person running, don't matter what it is, you start running, whether you're running after him or running with him, run. Fuck. 
I knew this man was goofy the moment I saw him walking towards the darkness. Huh, what? Oh! That thing was that close? But like, hold on, what were you doing in there to begin with? Hold on, wait, was that? That was a hospital, right? Whoa, you seem healthy. What were you doing in there? He didn't, the guy didn't recognize you. So what, what were you doing in there? Hold on a damn second. What? You know what it is? He wanted them, he wanted them exploration YouTubers. He wanted them that be, that be handing with a camera. All right, guy. Hey, so I'm in this abandoned hospital. G Wilkers, I hope I don't get stabbed here. Here, some supernatural doesn't happen, then some supernatural does happen. Now, now what? Now, look at you. Boofy. You're calling somebody else's death. Is this work? Emergency service. Yes, yes, I need help. I better. Um, please, I just send help, please. What is your emergency? Hello? You're in the light, you should be fine. You're in the light, you should be fine. You're in the light, you should be fine. If it's in the dark, stay in the light. I'm 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 running to the party. Hey, hey, listen, listen. I I get it, causing more life like death and lives. I don't care. I got a. But that's that's one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, twenty bodies in there. He a. Hey, Hey, he gonna be real distracted with them. Hey, catch you later. What the hell, man? It's in open party. Hey, please, you have, you have to help me. <laughs> this kid is awesome, man. Look at him, he's like tripping out. What? Hey, hey are, are you all right? The one sober person, thank God. Come on, Sarah, get away from this freak. Hey, relax. He goes to our school. He just needs to Freak! <laughs> I don't know him. He's leaving. No, 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 I'm not. Please, there's something out there. Sorry, you can't. Gotta, please, I, 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 just give go. me. Go. Just, I need help. I need a minute. No, please. Just please give me a minute. Please, let me in. Let me in, please. There's something out here. I can't stand people like this, bro. Oh, the monster gets y'all. Get him! Get him!
You okay? Someone no. No, I'm not okay. My boyfriend got a two inch dick in, in my, and he caused the death of somebody else on my porch. How do you think I feel? I'm in to get you? Yeah, they called my brother. You were inside? Yeah. Do you think you could tell me what happened? Look, I already told them. Please, just two minutes. Okay, well, when the party was in full swing and this kid from school came running in all frantic and sweaty. He was scared for sure. I think he just needed help. I, I... Then the guys threw him out and a minute later the door broke in and the kid was gone except for that shoe. So we called the cops. Was he a big guy? Oh God, no, he was scrawny. And you didn't know who he was? No. Well, I mean, I've seen him around school. So what, you're, gonna seem so, so what you're telling me is he posed no threat, didn't have a gun, didn't have a knife, didn't have any kind of weaponry, didn't have a bomb, wasn't physically threatening, was clearly scared, and they called him a freak and threw him out because... Why are you surround this... Ladies, this is what we call ignorant behavior. Not ignorant, ignorant behavior. Weird. But oh, sick! I'm getting pissed off just watching this. That picture? Yeah. Yeah, that's him right there. Sarah, your brother's here. Let's go. I thought that thing could only be in, okay. I thought that thing could only, like, I thought if bro was just in the light, it, he was safe. I guess I was wrong, shit, all right, I guess I would have died. But, shit, that seems like the beginning to a movie. Crypt TV, I suggest you, Crypt TV, if I was you, I would suggest sending this to like, I don't know, Blumhouse or something. Some. That that is the begin that is the prologue or like the epilogue to a movie, and it and it could work. It could it could work. That thing strong, fast, in the dark, the suspense till you see the actual thing. Yeah, you, you get if you do show the monster a little bit, like show like half its face, that you keep still keep that era of mystery in there, but. A little bit of, I don't know why I'm talking. I like, I know how movies work. I'm just, I'm just saying. And bro, I like the, I like this shit. I want this to be a movie, actually. Yeah, that, that's, that's this one. Craig, Crip, applause as you usually do. It's, it's Crip TV, motherfucker. They, they know what they're doing. But of course they gotta get out. I'm gonna shut up now. I'm stuttering anyway. All right, and this next one is called Bus Stop by the lovely people over at Horror Town. I've never actually heard of these people, but I'm not gonna lie. That this may be this may be a new, a new horror, like horror channel. That I I ain't even when I was watching like people like Corey and shit, and I ain't and like other like horror actors. So I I ain't never heard of these motherfuckers. I. Can't swear, but eh, it's whatever. Uh, yeah, I I might be trying on new ground here, new 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 found people. So if that's the case, hey, poor town, dap me up, cause that wasn't a dap up. I just put put my fist into my palm. I'm gonna shut up now. Yeah. 
Oh, it's right here. Get your car, yo, and walk. Bus stops are the only places where you can be alone with your thoughts. I'm the occasional stranger. Oh, that's me, all right. I wouldn't say that's the case, but sure. Dear Mr. Hop, after carefully reviewing your application, I regret, regret to inform you we are not on uh, the to University. Ah. Uh... So your day just went from bad to worse. Nah, that girlfriend gonna break up with him. Jesus Christ. Jesus, dude. Travels? No. You sure? Seems like there's a lot going on in that head. How did you? I've been here all along. Watching you, and I know everything about you. I know what you're thinking, what you're feeling, and even what you're going to do next. I know. Don't she? Hold on. Let me run it back. Don't she? Maybe I'm just tripping. But don't she look like a little bit like Megan from like the Robot Megan movie? Like even in age, what like me? I'm gonna put a picture on screen here. Maybe I'm tripping, but yeah. Next. What? <laughs> Relax, I'm just messing with you. I'm not really in the mood to talk. So. I've been there too. You know, crunching your knees, thinking. That sense of despair. No one was there. No one cared. You don't know how I feel. I'm sitting here waiting for the bus that I don't want to get on. That will take me home when no one understands me and I wake up to do things that are not working out. I just don't know what to do at this point. Die? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't isn't it a bit too soon time flies who knows what's around the corner oh Damn, this bus is taking forever. It just left. It ain't gonna be back for another hour, homie. Walk. You okay? Oh, there's, there's someone. Willy Wonka? I don't see anything. Look, across the street.
Oh, yeah. I see him. It's the boogeyman, and he's coming to get us. <laughs> what the? It's not funny. You are funny. Why don't you introduce me to your friend? This is getting weird. I think I'm going to leave now. Oh, it's only, it's only now getting weird. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Nah, the girl appearing from nowhere, that's not... I'm starting to... Um, okay, make your bets now. What you think is like the supernatural part here? You think that she's supernatural or like what, what what's going down here? So my bet currently, I want to say that uh, I'm going to say I don't know in what way or what fashion. I'm going to say she gets excommunicado in some way. I don't know how, don't know when, but I'm going to say it's like it happens repeatedly. Hmm. You can't just leave. The bus will arrive in seven minutes. You don't want to find out what will happen if you leave. I don't want to find out what will happen if I stay. So you'll just keep running away from your problems. Leaving a helpless lady alone at a haunted bus stop is a cowardly move. Eh. <laughs> Ah, uh, what, what do I trust here? No, I'm gonna regret this. What's your problem anyway? You, you don't even believe I saw something out there, so what are you so afraid of? I'll pull it this way. If you're scared of that boogeyman, Believe me, he's still better company than my parents. My mum used to lock me in the closet when she had a bad day at work or when father felt like it. That's how I got my fear of the darkness. Later, my friends found out about it and thought it'd be funny to lock me in a broom closet on a Friday night. Oh my God. That's terrible. I'm sorry. It's all right, I guess. I just don't like being alone in the dark. I have a new family now. You... you were adopted? Kind of. Yeah. Still trying to get along with them. Find common ground. It will work out. It just takes time. Yeah. We have plenty of it. To be honest, I'm not getting along with my parents either. I've even tried to run away from home a few times. Sometimes it just seems as if they come from Planet Responsible and I come from Planet I don't care what anyone thinks. You seem nice. I wish I had friends like you. Instead of ones who push you under the bus. <laughs> You look like your name is. You look like your name is Rue something. Rue. I I thought that was like a a, a dusky, a dusky slimmer lay down a trust for a second. Dusky slimmer less attractive lay down a trust. I saw someone again. There, in the, in the dark. You're just hallucinating. It's your mind playing tricks on I know, you. I know, I saw. It was a figure standing there in the shadows, pointing at something. I swear. At this point, I really feel... How did you see him? I feel like I'm insane. He was, he was right there. 
Well, the shadows you're seeing, they might be. Ooh. A legend has it that a monster haunts this bus stop. It's said it comes back every once in a while, lurking in the darkness and stalking its next prey. How did it kill them? It's said it has big yellow eyes. Jesus Christ. Its presence can be felt a mile away. The bus. It's said to be an outcast. But it seeks to be whole again. Just like me. How did it kill them? It is feeding on the despair of those who are feeling helpless. People it killed were lost and misunderstood. They had no future. They were failures. I'm sorry if you're psychic. So that driver isn't going to question why. But he just almost ran somebody over and just like, alright, cool. Crazy night, huh? Are you getting on? Yeah. Is anything wrong? No, no. <laughs> Joseph Doyle, Catherine, something. Eighty one to ninety eight. So she was a <laughs> let suck for adoption. Oh, okay. Let me do the math before I start making jokes. Hold on. That's one to leg. Don't question me. I'm bad at math. Nine, one, two, three, four, five. That's a motherfucking. That's. So she was about 18? That's 18, eh? Yeah. Yeah. One, two. Fuck. What? Fuck. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, no, 18. She was exactly 18 when she died. So at least the, the demon's taken, you know, legal folk. He he lets you get eighteen years, and he said, "I, I, you, you are an adult. Oh, your life only gonna get worse from here. Hey, time to go. But hey, lovely. I was lost for a good amount of that. Not gonna lie, but hey, rock with it. A lovely Lesok production." I, what I thought it was, was I, I thought, like, the reason that he survived was, like, his mom, like, called him up, like, he, like, bruh, 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 bruh. And he, like, she was about to, like, up, start apologizing for, like, the way she's been treating him. She's been going to therapy, but I guess he just didn't die for some reason, whatever the reason may be. Maybe there's an end credit scene or some shit in the missing. Never mind. Okay. But hey, Lesok Productions, or 
<laughs> just, hey, good job. I like Picasso. Okay, and this next one is called Thingamajig by Skeleton Crew Productions. Apparently this one got a lot of awards, but here's the here's the questioning part. It got a lot of awards, right? It's a good video, it's a long one, so again, strap in. But they have like a thousand of like a thousand and like eleven what what's the what's the fucking number? A thousand and 11k subs whatever that equates to in natural numbers which uh confusing to say the least because these motherfuckers I mean, listen not to not to you know you know rain on my own parade but i could never make something like this grant i haven't seen it yet but i already know this shit gonna be gas uh for like the Get, give him some love, I guess. I, I I don't know what power I have to you know, help them out, but hey, it, give them some love. Yeah, enough of this. Uh, we done 27 minute video, so we gotta all gas, no brakes. Entertainment ain't ending. Actually, just started. Literally, I pressed play literally moments ago. A skeleton crew production. Spooky, scary skeletons. Let's go. That's an average Tuesday in Ireland right there. Had one night out with the boy. If they said one more drink and not who you are. Welcome, you're at the River Styx. That'd be a good prank to play on somebody. When I'm passing the middle of the road, everything go dark to just Draw it out on them. I don't think they're dead. Oh, right. This is called thingamajig. This thing made me thinking, like, we about to watch somebody meet their, their end or the crossroads. Guys, this might seem crazy, but I think he's, I think he's trying, like, he needs to mess with that thing right there.
say... I find it crazy that it is just, like, human nature to just, like... Like, you know, cause, like, here, I was thinking, like, I'm just imagining somebody, like, in a situation, like, just, like, seeing all that, like, go here. In a new place, I don't understand them. The immediate reaction to do the exact opposite. Why is the human nature just avoid? Because thinking, like, no sane person would go into the darkness, because dark is scary. But at the same time, you don't trust any of this. No, I'm going to do exactly the opposite. Why is the human nature just to just disregard any rules like placed upon you? That's that's weird. I need if somebody can explain in the comments, that'd be fantastic. Stay in the light. Okay. Okay, clearly super, supernatural and powerful creature. I will stay in the light. Fear the dark. But what am I supposed to be afraid of, though? You can't just tell me fear the dark. Tell me what I'm supposed to be afraid of. This is a dream. This is a dream. Go to the middle thing, dog. Oh, that was just a lamp post. Oh, I thought it was like, okay, I was confused. And now you fear the dark. Yep, fear the dark, say less. The thing magic will help you. Oh, oh no. That isn't good at all. Grab the thing magic! I think grab the thing magic, like, anyway, know who that is. Turn around. Grab the thing with Jig and make a sprint. Oh. Never mind, keep your ass right there. Don't move.
He don't look friendly. You sure he's supposed to help? You had you had those the entire time. Give it a smoke. Give it a cigarette. Give it a cigarette. Maybe maybe it'll be friendly after it you know chills out. Nicotine always you know it it'll calm the soul occasionally. You know until you run out of cigarettes, then you know it. Then he's gonna rehab. Relax, you got a plan. When your light goes dead, you run over there. There was a thing put your cigarettes in there maybe I don't mm. how'd they make this Did they make a street lamp Clanded facet. Truth a. Oh my God! A oh, lot. I. I, mm. I apologize. I apologize for that. I'm gonna say it right now. Hey, we gone. Hey, listen. Hey, look me in the eyes. Hey, lit. Hmm. How long has my camera been dead? How long has my camera been dead? How long... How long has my camera been dead? Oh my god. We're not that deep into it. My camera went dead and my... Hmm. Camera went dead and... And my goddamn alarm went off. Why do I still have my alarms? I swear I disabled that damn thing. Hey, listen. I mean, if we gonna ignore that, we gonna run it back. That's it, truth day, and we gonna keep it pushing like nothing happened. Oh God. You said that thing will help me. Go to the other light. Yeah. Gotta make a sprint. Oh, and he a smoker too. You know his stamina is ass. Come on, boy, hit that, hit that puff, puff, puff. No, keep it, keep pushing. Don't let the match go out.
Oh. You heard the nigga run! Now you like two matches. You like two matches. And before the second one, okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna tell you right now. You like one match, you realize the situation you're in. Holding in one hand. You light the next match. You start walking. One match is already gonna go out. Before the next one even goes out, light a third match. Keep on walking. Actually, not even walking, speed walking. The, you had to get to their left as fast as possible. And you do that until you reach until you reach the second light. You pray to God you don't have to do that so many times that you run out of that you run out of matches. You are a run! You dummy. Why isn't it working? There we go. Now grab a handful of matches and run. Okay. An actually resourceful horror protagonist. That's actually smart. Wasteful, realistically. You could have just walked with it, but it's you know, smart. Well, I mean, it is the safer option, so. Bro, bro, relax. Just keep placing the matches. Don't trip. It's none. It's none violent. It's just somebody in the background beating cheeks like crazy. Okay, there's none to worry about. Just keep on pushing. Some child is getting conceived back there, brother. Don't worry about. Damn. Oh. It's your cheeks that are getting beat. Hold on. You had the match in your hand. I was able to grab you. I'll let you know right now. You've been in the dark for too long. Run, boy. Like I said, wasteful. Mm -mm. Well, you could set the card one on fire. Don't breathe. Oh! The 
boy said, <laughs> all over the match. You breathe the carbon dioxide all over that match. You are now safe. Yeah, for now, until I gotta move again. What do I do then? I ain't got no flashlight. Yeah, it's the exact copy. Oh God. do all that again now with no matches good ending good ending let's say since you know he's back at the beginning supposedly everything reset everything in his pockets reset as well and he has the matches again that's a good ending let's pray to god it's that one but if it's not he is quite literally screwed unless he figures out that one puzzle then you know Oh, God. That boy tried to get you to... Trying to give you this freshly shaven black boy special. God damn. Oh, that... Okay, I thought... I thought that looked familiar. Oh, it was like Latin or something. Truth, honest. No, no. Go to the other light with what matches? Candid. Fact. Uh, did he figure something out? I'm confused here. Using the lie, lie, lies, lies, lies. You lying bastard! I am not safe! So that thing in the dark was actually trying to help me! Bro, I hit the... It's 
stay in the light. Nah. Why the thing in the dark gotta be so scary? You're trying to help me. You should have just said that, bro. Jesus Christ. They came to me with a more gentle approach. Come at me with all that aggression. What's wrong with you? Ain't you know that we humans like a knife and gentle? What's wrong with you? Oh, that wasn't even the thing in the dark. That was the thing in the light. Ooh. Why are you trying that hard to get that off? I'm about to say, start kicking it. It's gonna start running, just run to the dark. You're not getting it off, just... Oh, God. Now you wake up, find that person, and sue them for almost running you over. What even was that? Did like, did he get your leg last second? What happened here? Call an Uber. You can't stay here. This area is cursed. Hop in the car and drive with one foot if you have to. I'm waiting for him to get snatched by something. Hold on. Keenan Leslie, yes sir. Wait for him to get snatched. Yes, 
And in a couple minutes left in the video, it could happen. Ryan Pearson has thingamajig. A, hey, good on you. I'm letting this play out. I'm waiting for him to get snatched by something. Ain't no way they got, they record him limping all the way there for not some. It gotta be an after credit scene or something. Jonathan Ward, he's sure. A couple seconds since I'm waiting for him to get grabbed up. Lights are off. I'm waiting. Oh shit, I guess I was wrong then. Right? Yeah, okay, he doesn't get snatched. Alright. Cool. Hey, that was so damn, it is an hour already. Jesus Christ. Well, I did watch with this entire this 27 minute video. But yeah, that was hey. That a hey, heat. Heat. Would that give you a phobia of the dark or the light in that case? Because because like in the end the light the the light was the thing tripping you up no well i mean there also was a thing in the dark but then it also like it also said like trust the light you're saving the light what the almost you must definitely have a phobia of street lamps now i don't know if there's a thing for that street lamp a phobia or some shit you most definitely have a phobia of street lamps quit the job expeditiously mm -mm. Is that like heaven or pet purgatory? Like, like you're in a, like you're in a life. What does that do happen when you die? Not well, not when you die, but like when when you're in like a life threatening situation, and and it's like it's like a Schrodinger situation where like you can either die or live. On the outside, like on the outside, people just either see you get hurt and either get up or don't. The inside. You're over there like